got him. All right, let's just go really slow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, we can't do it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up uh, pretty much right where we left off. I did go uh, back to the base and uh, repair, drop stuff off, refresh it, our rested buff, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to pick up from here. Our main goal today is to uh, get to the farmer, which we're right next to. Um, but we are also right next to a... A flame, flame well thing. So let's go do that. Nice. And gives us another spark. We'll grab that wax there. I'm not going to break stuff for now. Uh, yeah, so I think we're good to go. What is... Oh, that's just the, close the door. Gotcha. Okay. So, let's head on over to the farmer and get them rescued. And then, depending upon how our time goes, if we do this fairly quickly, we might even see if we can uh, rescue the carpenter, too. There's another thing. Westcott. All right. So, that's just a little village with more uh, metal salvage guys in it. Uh, I made a whole crap ton of, of arrows, uh, of scrap arrows this time, just because we ran out in the last episode. guys what the hell am I doing I hit the wrong toolbar grenade launcher dudes that it for bad guys There's probably rats downstairs or upstairs. Cloth and stuff. Uh, all right, let's go. Something's pitter pattering. Uh, I don't know where it's at. Ah, down here. What do we got in here? Some furs. Scrap metal. Uh, I don't really see anything else down here. Is that our... Yeah, that's our other spire. I'd, I'd really like to get to that second spire if we can. At some point while we're out and about. Get out of here. I shouldn't be wasting my sword's durability on that. Seeing any secret walls or anything in here? Is there something behind here? Hmm. Nothing to read in here. Did 
Dismantle? No. Let's go see what's down here. We got a chest. That's it. Just checking. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Scrap metal. And I hear what sounds like a bad guy walking around. He must be outside, though. Uh, oh, there's stairs going up even higher. There we go. Where's this guy at that I hear walking around? There he is. Oh, there's a couple of them. Kind of hurt. <sighs> Lots of good metal scrap. Let's get moving. Is this a, a lootable? Yeah. We want to go this way. Ancient Vault Farmer. Okay, yeah, like I was saying in the last episode, I have no idea how this plays out. Haven't seen anybody else do it. Haven't done it myself, obviously. So this ought to be interesting. Anything down here? Doesn't really appear to be. All right, what kind of shenanigans do we got in this place? Lots of lava in here. Probably have some doors here that we can't open. Yeah. Three buttons. We're looking for three buttons. Okay. Well, then let's do this. Let's go down here first. Hmm. 
There is a secret wall over there. And okay, I see what we're supposed to do. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Hold still. Stop. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> easy, boy. Easy. Okay. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's not that great, actually. <laughs> it's good for uh, runes, though. Um, actually, that's a level 7 with 20 power. <sighs> Since we're probably not going to upgrade these anyway... This is actually quite a bit better than this, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, we'll melt this one. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and this too. We don't need that right now. Okay, well that didn't get us to a button, but it got us to some nice loot. Just one jump. Um, okay. There we go. We got something going on over here. More of those little electricity thingamadoodles. And I don't suppose... We can shoot that from here, can we? Nope, it's too far. Okay. I don't know how much these things hurt, but they probably hurt like a mother. See, you know, these ones aren't even either. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do this. There we go. And that turns those off too. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> one down, two to go. Is this where we is this where we came in at or is that a different no I think that's a different one okay I know there's lots of jars here I could break but I want to focus on getting the quest done That is one hell of a long... Oh, there's two grappling hook thingies. I see. No, I don't want to dismantle that. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Here we go. We got this. Okay. That wasn't quite as hard as I thought it was going to be. Button number two. Excellent. Looks like we go that way, but why is there a way to jump over here? Is there something over here? Not really that I can tell. There's a grappling hook thing down there. We 
Which way do we go? Here's a chest. Oh, nice. We got another wisp of light potion. We'll eventually, I think, be able to make those once we do some more quests for Balthazar. There's our final button. Okay. Some pretty decent loot. All righty. Turn the spikes off, too. Oh, I was going to say, I, I thought we got all three buttons. Look at this. Ring of stamina. Eh, we already got that. Honey. I wish we could melt those rings down. I think we're safe to just glide down there. Alright, before we go let the farmer out, let's just look up here and see if there's anything. Guess we can't get up there. Actually, yeah, we can, which means there might be something up there. Aha! Uh -huh. Love it. Metal Star Mace, level 7. Um, that does 20 damage. Still not as good as our Wailing Blade overall. But we'll salvage that. Okay, let's get our farmer. Shrub seedling, plus seven more at the seed bed. Beautiful. Emily Frey, the farmer. Nice. Okay, so let's look at the map here. There was another spire to the north of here that wasn't too terribly far away. Um... It'd be kind of nice if we could get to it. Uh, so let's go back out and assess. Of course, it is dark, but we can we can put down another. Um, well, actually, I got this flame shrine here, which isn't very far away. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's go back home and rest up and do all the stuff, and then I want to see if. If we can get to that other, well, should we do that or should we try and go after the carpenter? We're about 20 minutes into this video. All right, let me think about it and I'll let you know uh, what we decide here in, uh, in the morning. All right, here's what I think we're going to do. I'm gonna, we're going to see if we can get to that next vault. Uh, or I'm sorry, not vault, uh, tower over there. That black structure directly in front of me is where we just rescued the hunter. And I have, uh, I still have this flame shrine thingamadoodle there. So let's fast travel to that. And I think I'm going to pick this up.
Okay, so we are... Um, there's the hunter place right over there. And so we're going up this hill, but I think the spire is kind of more this way. Can we just put a random marker there? Yeah, um... I don't know. I guess it's going to be a flag. It doesn't matter. And let's see where this trail leads. The thing is, though, is the further away we get, the higher level the enemies get. Uh, so we do have to be cognizant of that. I don't see the tower from here. So why don't we see if we can get up this hill here. What the hell is that? Um, okay. Are we doing any damage to it? I mean, just hitting a tree. Here, let's get back this way a little bit. No, not that far. There we go. Oh, shit, that's a level 11. Whatever it is. We just killed it. Does it give us anything? Poison sack. Hmm, I wonder if we can make, like, poison arrows or something from that. Okay, so yeah, so we've just moved out of level 9 territory into 11, a level 11 territory, and we're still only level 6. Yeah. That's, uh, not good. Alright, can we get up here? Don't think we're technically supposed to go this way. We might have to burrow into the mountainside a little bit to get up the rest of the way. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I'm, I'm not so sure I'm going to keep using the, the dried berries because the problem with them is because they do last five minutes, they take up one of your, uh, you know, one of your slots. And that was kind of caused me some trouble. When I, uh, when we were doing that last boss fight in terms of getting stamina back, I don't see that damn tower anywhere. Where is it? I guess it was further away than it appeared. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. The question is, can we make it over there without dying? <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? Uh, oh, bees. Level 11 bees. Still take them out pretty quick with the torch. Okay, let's go this way. There's another one of those poison flower thingies. Alright. Got him. Ooh, see the red the red shroud is too high for us. If we step into it, we die like in a couple seconds. Hmm. But we might be able to get to that tower without stepping in it. What's that? Oh, just plant fiber. Willow Crush. Whatever enemies are down in Willow Crush, they probably will crush us. Um. So let's go this way.
forests are cool looking. But yeah, you know, if uh, we thought we were in over our head in the last episode, we're definitely in, in over our head now. Um, just poking my head in there. Yeah, we have a level 11 something that's actually taking damage. That's weird. Okay, yeah, let's not go through here. That I, I'm just asking to be killed by doing that. Let's see if we can skirt the this place. Uh, maybe go up through this little draw here. There's the tower. What's that? Strawberries! Oh, nice. Since we've found strawberries, that means we now can make strawberries. So what do these do? Plus... What was that noise? Uh, plus three health generation. Very nice. A delicious aggregate accessory fruit. Predominantly found in Revelwood. So that must be where we're at. Okay. Well, we're going to keep those. Uh, I'm not going to eat them, right? And we'll take them back and turn them into seeds. And then we'll grow strawberries. Delicious. I like strawberries in real life, too. I know some people can be really allergic to them, but... It kind of sucks. Uh, all right, so let's get on this little plateau here for a second. Yeah, we cannot get into that red stuff. Um, I wonder if what if we could cross over kind of down that way. Is, what is this? Is this like iron ore? It's copper. Oh, wow. Okay. We. This is probably a really poor pick, though, for, for mining it. Let's get, like, five of these. And we'll uh, we'll take those back with us. You know what I actually want to do though before I throw that stone out. Let's just make another flame altar in case we need it for something. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to throw that out yet. If we have room for it, let's keep it. Okay, copper all over the place. My goodness, that's copper too, right? Oh no, that's clay. All right, let's get some clay too. <laughs> I was going to say, it, it. that looks a little bit different. You know what? You know what I might actually do is I might actually... I can have a total of four... I think I can have a total of four flame altars. Maybe we should plop one down right here. and That way we... You know, because at some point the blacksmith's going to say, go get me some copper and clay, right? Um, And if we plop it down right here... Then we can come directly here to get it. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. Can I name this? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now the question is... Can we get across here without going into the red... That's scary. Into the red miasma. Ooh, what's this? Flax. Now we can make flax seed. Cool, man. We're just learning all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, that looks scary. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to get across there, you guys. Well, let's not give up yet. Let's just see what the possibilities are. I'll bet you we can make better clothing, maybe, or maybe better bandages with flax. Uh, there's another one of those nasty poison plant dudes.
Oh, it looks like if you if you just stay a little bit out of range, maybe they can't hit you. Oh, either that or it was just bugged out a little bit. I'm sure Balthazar is going to want poison sacks at some point. Yeah, we might actually be able to get over there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's go over here. Just kind of looking around to see what there is to see. I guess we can go down to that road. Little crossroads here. <coughs> what is that? It looks like a crab thingamadoodle. A uh, part crab, part toadstool. I think we'll avoid that. We got another poison plant guy over here. Alright, if you're going to sting me, I'm going to steal your honey. Except for that I can't get it because it's glitched into the thing. Alright, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, it appears if you stand far enough away from these things, they can't spit their stuff on you. Hmm. You know what, guys? I don't think we are going to be able to make it over there. Well, we came pretty close, didn't we? And well, okay, hold on, let's not give up yet. All right, both of those guys are coming after us. Um, yeah, just go away. Wale! I don't think I want him to hit me. That probably wouldn't feel good. Mm, I don't know, man, because what happens when we get right over to this miasma stuff? I really don't see it letting us get over there. And like I said, man, we touch this stuff and it's almost an instant kill. He's level 13. Oh shit, there's two of them. Oh, we got a level up. Nice. See, I think I named the last episode slightly in over our head. I think in this episode, I'm going to name it way in over our head. <sighs> um, well, it's definitely worth killing these guys for the XP. Um, oh, shit. Not the best time to be looking in the skill menu. Yep, you stop there and celebrate your victory prematurely while I put an arrow in your lung. 
Dumbass. Okay, let's go into here. We have four points. Um, We could get multi-shot, or we could get this, and this is just going to... Oh, wow, that needs five points, though. Hmm. A 20% chance to spawn a flurry of arrows that spread slightly. Should we get the... Yeah, you know what? We're getting it now. Um, And then... We'll just have to build up another four points to get Ranger. Okay. You know what? I want... I want to get rid of those. Oh, here they come again. Those are dogs. Oh, those guys are way weaker than their masters are. You gonna come after me, bro? Nice. That was that the double shot thingy there. Okay, so here's the question. Is there a... There's no grappling hook thingy. I'm just afraid as soon as we walk over here. Got him. Let's just go really slow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, we can't do it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man, all this way for nothing. Well, no, it is. it wasn't for nothing. We got some levels and we discovered some new stuff, so it was it was definitely worthwhile, but, yeah, there's no way we're getting across there. Um, Let me look at the map. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet you this red thing you know probably goes all the way across the map well maybe not i don't know there's just not really any way to tell um okay well now well, that's actually is the tower I, I, well i think it is anyway so it'll stay marked for us now um all right well shoot Kind of a bummer but like i said it wasn't a total loss but i'm just wondering if there's anything else we can discover whilst we're here Oh, I love that triple arrow shot or double. How many does it say how many it does? It just says flurry of arrows, but it shows three in the picture. That is so nice. This forest is cool looking. Uh, we could go back, I suppose, and try and... Uh, what's this? Try and kill those mushroom crab things. Is this just kind of like a random ruin in the wilderness? Or is it an actual POI? It's a big tomb. You know if we go down there, we're going to get absolutely wrecked, though. What's this? Archer glove. Oh, shit.
Oh, he's only level 11. I mean, that's still dangerous, but at least it's not 13 like those other guys. We got some archer gloves, ladies and gentlemen. What does this do? 6% damage multiplier throwing. Uh... Like, okay, so does that not count for for arrows, though? Because it says throwing, like, you know, throwing grenades. And if that's the case, why the hell are they called archer gloves? Hmm. We would lose ranged damage. Uh, two, we'd lose plus two to range damage if we... All right, I want to wait. Is something? I was hearing noises. What's this? Indigo plant. Okay, we did discover something else new. See, so this trip was definitely worthwhile. We just didn't accomplish. Oh shit! The main goal. No, oh. you're still alive. Wait, what the hell? I thought he was just about dead. I'm hitting the frickin' tree. You know what? I must have been hitting the side of the cliff all along. Acts like I'm hitting it, but I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, um, okay, let's just kind of chillax here for a second. I want to look at this. So right now we have two dexterity, which is our range damage. Uh, why does it show the shield? What? Okay, if we look down at the bottom, Dexterity 2 increases range damage by 5% per attribute point. Um, okay, so our range damage is currently 12%. If we... Switch to these. So we, yeah, see, we dropped our range damage by 10%. Um, so I don't understand why they call those archer gloves when apparently it only applies to thrown objects such as grenades. So that's just kind of weird. So let's let's go back to our normal archer gloves since you know our bows are our main weapon, so we want it to be the the best one. Okay, well it's getting dark, obviously. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the base, we're gonna set the farmer down and see what she's all about, and then we need to wrap up this episode. Oh, here comes the wolves. Yep, time to go. Um I'm gonna, yeah, let's just go home. Scary. I'm scared now. Being in the deep dark woods like this. Hey, <laughs> I love that. Hey, um, all right. Where am I going? Uh, this way. Let's sleep first so it's not so damn dark. Excellent. All right. Um, you want us to talk to you. The birds sing sweetly. Investigate the troubling rumors. Flameborn, I heard troubling rumors. Something horrible and grotesque is happening in the Springlands. 
an abomination and abuse of the elixir. Please end this reign of terror before it's too late. Okay. Uh, flame protection. Flameborn, did you know why they call you that? Um, you were forged from a sacrificial union between the ancients and the humans. The ancient flame soul all allows you to enter the shroud unharmed, but its glow doesn't last forever. With this power, you can rebuild the world, no matter what. Okay. What about the red stuff? Can I get into the red stuff? Has anything new opened up on you yet? Probably not. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we talked to him. Um, let's talk to you. We fight on. A test of skill. Your step is silent, your eyes determined. You've been on the hunt. I won't ask what wild beasts you track, but your spoils are presentable at best. Try gathering some animal fur, then we can talk. I've got tons of animal fur. What are you talking about? Uh... What is that? Some sort of blight permeates every fiber. The skin is fibrous and porous. Changed already. In the end, the shroud reaches all. Animal, soldier, king. All our bones crack the same. Here, I'll share my hunting grounds with you. I'll mark it on uh, in my journal. Walk my trails and release them in my stead, Flameborn. Uh, okay. So... She just gave us... Here, let's look at the... Catch you later. Catch you later. Test the skill. Okay, so yeah, we'll do that later. Oh, you know what I think this is? I think this is the next upgrade to the grappling hook, which means that it uses less stamina, if I understand correctly. And I don't know what the hell that thing is. Um, growing stronger together. Okay, let's go ahead and summon our farmer friend. Does she like to be inside or outside? You know, considering she's farmer and all that. I have a summoning staff in here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, well, I guess... This is supposed to sort of kind of be my kitchen area. So let's put the farmer right here. Oh, something on, your mind. something on your mind. Emily Frey, the farmer. The world opens up. You're doing it, Flameborn. You're hailing the Springlands, but our world is vast. Trust me, I've traveled it plenty. Set your sights on the ancient spire in the Revelwood. Hey, I was just there. It will open our world more. We're all with you. Um, I'm too little to get over there, though. <coughs> well, you know what we got to do? We got to upgrade our flame, uh, upgrade our flame thingamadoodle. All right, what can you make for us? Seed beds. So, do, 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 do. okay. Farm soil. How do, how do we do farm soil? Dirt and bone meal. Ah, okay. Popcorn. Oh, look at that. Plus seven stamina recharge for five minutes. Yes, please. That's beautiful. Okay. Well, that's our new stamina buff food. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Um, so I, I'm assuming once we make the seed bed, then she probably teaches us some seed recipes. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, okay. Anytime. Let's, uh, let's, um, let's try that real quick before I let you go. I know this episode's going long again. Me and my long ass episodes. Okay, so we need that and we need bone meal. Actually, do I have bone meal in here? Do, 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 do. I hope you guys don't mind the long episodes. I try and keep them between 30 and 45 minutes, but sometimes they just go longer, you know? Uh, I've got a bunch of bone meal in the grinder, but I want to use up the spare stuff first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because we can actually store this stuff in the grinder. Okay. Craft farm soil. Um, okay. Now we just need... Whoop. Need some wood. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. So... She's laughing at me. <laughs> She's going, you're a dummy. You can't figure it out. 
Okay, so I am assuming the sea bed needs to go outside. I'm assuming wrong, apparently. Hmm. I know, you know, we're going to have... These guys are going to have more workstations for us later. So... I think what we'll do with these is let's just line them up along the side of the house. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, so let's grow the strawberries. Uh, yeah. We need water and we need more farm soil. Okay. Goodbye. You know what, actually? Let's pick that back up for a second. I'm going to put it right here and let's also snap it too. Okay, now go to strawberries, select. S oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, do I, does just one strawberry fill the whole thing up? I don't know. Um, where's the, yeah, here we go. I'm just going to put... Actually, let's just put that whole stack in there. Okay. And water. Uh, where's my water? See, now, here's where it would be so nice if we could just take... Pull one... One of these off of there. Well, I guess it... Okay. I guess it pulled the one off to make it. So what I want to find out is... Will one strawberry, uh, obviously it's going to give us five, but is, is it take up the whole entire thing? I'm not really sure. So we'll have to find that out in the next episode. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to wrap things up here. The last crafts person that we have to get is the carpenter. So that will be, you got a thing for me. Hold on. Lost hand spindle. If you think we're powerless, do not fret. With my hand spindle... I could craft better armors for us. Ooh, I like that idea. And increase our chances of survival. I lost it during my escape through the Revelwood in days long past near Westcott when I laid down to rest. Don't wait. I've got your back. Okay, except for Lady, that's a little bit... Ooh, look at that. Uh, that's a little bit high for me, so we're going to have to wait till I level up a little more, I think. Uh, maybe we'll be stupid and try it anyways. We'll see. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, we're going to need to wrap up this episode, uh, whoop, episode here plan will be to uh, get the carpenter in the next episode and then that will get us all of our crafts people and then from what i understand then they're all going to give us a whole shit ton of of more quests to do and as we do those quests it unlocks more workstations for them and better recipes from them um and that should be a lot of fun all right guys we're gonna wrap up the episode here i don't know i already said that didn't i thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ow, I just hit my head on the table.